Muhammad Umar Farooq Biological Video Please make sure to subscribe, like and share. Ask the question for answer and comment about the artwork. You can also answer question to each other for solving the problem. So here today we will discuss about the lymphatic system. So first of all we will intro of the lymphatic system. So the lymphatic system is responsible for the transport of material from the tissue of the body to the blood. So tissue is contain extracellular fluid and other excess fluid which that is back up into the lymphatic system to back up into the circulatory system for maintain the uh, extracellular fluid into the blood vessel for homeostasis so that's a larger molecule will be enter also into the lymphatic system to maintain the protein electrolyte as well as acid base balance on the other hand the immune system is also depend to the lymphatic system which that is store the immune cell into the lymphatic system and educate in the uh, lymph node so here we will discuss about the component of lymph uh, component of lymphatic system so the lymphatic system is made up of lymph lymph capillaries uh, that capillary is uh, one cell containing uh, lymph vessel which that is the lymph vessel is like a uh, vessel are present in the um, uh, in the circulatory system so that is the lymph ma uh, lymphoid masses are present and lymph nodes and the fluid called lymph so that's fluid is called lymph so the lymph is made up of different component here we will discuss about the whole mechanism and that detail so the next video we will discuss about the immune immunology about the lymphatic system and that's here is we just understand and the overview of the lymphatic system so here is the circulatory system which that is made up of heart and heart contain a left atrium to left ventricle which that is carry the deoxygenated blood and that's go into the pulmonary circulation into the lungs and back into the pulmonary vein which that is oxygenated and the right uh, basically left atrium to left ventricle to go into the aorta so the descending aorta and aortic arch which allow to move the oxygen is known as the oxyhemoglobin which bind with the oxygen to receive the oxygen to the tissue and carbon dioxide receive into the blood so that is the circulatory system so this type of circulatory system here you can see that here is the aorta which gives the oxygenated blood toward the tissue while the deoxygenated blood go back into the superior and inferior vena cava into the left atrium to left ventricle to go into the pulmonary circulation so this all thing is known as a systemic circulation and pulmonary circulation systemic circulation mean the whole body is circulated by the blood is systemic on the other hand the pulmonary circulation is the circulation which that is uh, the uh, go into the lung so that is called pulmonary circulation here i am drawing the lymphatic system which that is the easy diagram to understand so this lymphatic system is attached not completely that is the extracellular fluid is the um, major uh, gap that is the synapse like structure is here which that is mean that is the uh, basically single uh, cellular uh, single cell F endothelium uh, containing lymphatic vessel so that's the lymph lymphatic basically capillaries so there here is the junction are present which that is the tissue which give the extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid for maintain their homeostasis so the here is the lymph capillary and that's blindly in both tissue where pressure from the accumulation of interstitial fluid or extracellular fluid which that force the fluid into the lymph capillary when enter the fluid in lymph 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 uh, lymphatic system so the lymph uh, lymph it is called the lymph so this lymph is uh, absorbed by the 
absorbed by the extracellular fluid which that is the excess of fluid so if the excess fluid is not absorbed and there's a uh, fluid is accumulate into the tissue and muscle is known as the edema so that's water excess in the tissue so that is not circulatory system of the lymphatic system is not uh, doing well so here is important to know that the all lymphatic vessel which drain into the subclavian vein which that is the thoracic lymph duct so the thoracic lymph duct is all is convert all vessel convert into the thoracic lymph duct so very important to know that here is the lymph vessel is always go toward the thoracic duct and that's open into the subclavian vein so the subclavian vein and that's opening is due to the subclavian vein so important to know that here is a lymph vessel basically here we will discuss about the subclavian vein so the lymph vessel join to form large lymph vessel and form thoracic duct and this thoracic duct open in subclavian vein so this subclavian vein is mixed with the deoxygenated blood go into the left atrium to left ventricle and ultimately go in the pulmonary circulation and this pulmonary circulation will allow to allow to pulmonary vein to give the left atrium to left ventricle to move the blood into the whole body so here the lymph capillary is the made up of single layer of cells but intercellular opening in the wall of lymph vessel is larger than blood capillaries so the blood capillary is less but here is the intercellular space the intercellular basically opening in the wall of uh, lymph vessel is larger so the larger than the blood blood capillary than blood capillary so the larger molecule can also pass from in it it means the protein albumin uh, immunoglobulin and other protein amino acid which that is also uh, diffuse into the lymphatic system for circulation to maintain the homeostasis and regulation of the body fluid so here we will discuss about the lymph node uh, lymph node so the lymph node is uh, uh, contain a different region for example thorax is here which that is also growing which that is the abdominal area of the uh, body and here is the maxill maxilla uh, contain a lymph node and tonsil contain a lymph node and neck so what is the lymph node here we will discuss about the uh, with the with the help of diagram to understand so the lymph node contain a immune 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 cell which that contain t c lymphocyte p lymphocyte as well as macrophage so here is a lymph node lymph node is uh, many more lymph node are present and that is a larger lymph node are present in the maxilla tonsil neck and thorax as well as in the in the spleen spleen so here is the lymph node which contain a many many vessel which that is known as lymphatic vessel so the efferent lymph vessel efferent mean toward the node fluid move toward the node is known as the efferent and on the other hand the efferent lymph vessel which that is go from the from the lymph node toward the efferent lymph vessel toward the uh, basically toward the subclavian vein so what is mean it means that there are many efferent lymph vessel but efferent lymph vessel is single in the lymph node so it means the single lymph node is used to release the lymph from the node while there are many lymph vessel are present in the form of efferent which that is carry the fluid of toward the lymph node so here i am drawing that the lymphatic system in gastrointestinal system 
so the gastrointestinal system contain very important character of lymphatic system which that is allowed to enter the fluid enter the fat and enter the some antigen to to neutralize it by the enzyme as well as t cell and b cell so the t cell and b cell in the node is uh, is educated to to not infect our body but infect to the pathogen so here is the stomach which contain esophagus and this esophagus is open into the cardiac sphincter and this cardiac sphincter is go into the stomach stomach contain a head region fundus region and that is downward is the uh, downward is the known as the pyloric sphincter so here is the duodenum a uh, present that's a duodenum is made up of small intestine part that is smaller than the jejunum and ileum so this a uh, duodenum surrounded by the lymphatic vessel as well as artery and vein so this lymphatic system is very important character which that is go into the mucosal part of the endothelial uh, tissue so the uh, villi uh, villi contain a mucosal part which that is surrounded by the mucosa and the uh, mucous membrane so this mucosa here is we will discuss about that here is the enterocytes is made up of uh, which give a function is the villi so this villi is made up of microvilli microvilli mean the brush border cell are also known as enterocyte which contain a brush border enzyme on the other hand here is a lymphatic system that's a lacteal in the form of lacteal and uh, is go into the villi inside and that's surrounded by the blood vessel so that blood vessel is known as the gastrointestinal artery and vein so the gastrointestinal uh, gastrointestinal artery and vein which that surrounded and give the blood oxygenated and deoxygenated so here is the lacteal in the form of lymphatic system and is the down is the lymph mass so there are many lymph mass region which that is uh, give the fluidity uh, which that store the fluid also so the lymph mass is the here is the submucosa and here is the mucosa so here is the large fat globule which that is produced by the pancreatic lipase enzyme and bile acid production to become emulsified and this emulsified is directly enter into the enterocyte or brush powder and cell and that's go into the not go into the blood vessel just like a glucose and protein but it's go into the first lacteal after the go into the lacteal that will be circulate into the lymph so the after meal there's a fatty meal this globule make one percent of the whole lymphatic system so these are the precursor of chylomicron and ldl or hdl so so the lymph mass here we will discuss about that's the lacteal will be allowed to enter and that's after all that's go into the blood vessel so here is the lymph mass which contain a tonsil which that is also contain a lymph mass and thymus thymus is the gland so this thymus gland is used for the maturation of t lymphocyte and thymus is very important as a immune system so here is the lymph mass which contain uh, basically also duodenum here and here the pancreas that is a spleen so the spleen is the uh, in the form of lymph mass which that circulate and filter the blood and this filtering of the blood is used for the um, uh, used for the old red blood cell breakdown 
on the other hand the direction to flow of the blood is known as the splenic artery which that is also go into the pancreas so the lymph mass is pro, uh, produces lymphocytes and such as lymphocyte b and t so this lymphocytes t and b so here we will discuss about the maintain the lymph flow so the flow of lymph how to maintain first of all the skeletal muscle activity as well as the movement of viscera so the viscera mean the visceral part of the body for example lungs which that is breathe in and breathe out to contract the intercostal muscle and this intercostal muscle relaxation and contraction is allow to open and close the valves of the lymph vessel and this lymph vessel wall contain here is the valves prevent to back flow of lymph so that's prevent of the here is the diaphragm that is the viscera movement to allow the lymph movement uh, toward the subclavian vein and thoracic lymph duct so here is the valve which that is uh, which that is prevent to back flow of the lymph okay and next here we will discuss about the function functions in as a immune system so the lymphatic system is also the part of the immune system because it store the lymphocytes b lymphocytes and t lymphocyte in additionally that is macrophage is also stored in it into the lymph node so the mass of lymphocytes and macrophage are present inside of the lymph node so here i am drawing the lymph node so this lymph node is here store the uh, macrophage and lymphocyte so this immune cell is educated into the lymph node and that's allowed to prevent the infection to its own cells and while the other hand is on the other hand that's infect uh, and kill the pathogen which that is the antigen by the producing of antibody next uh, diagram we will discuss with the whole detail to understand it so here is the lymph node which that is the structure here is the inside the cell so that is the diagram here i am basically uh, um, mentioned that the mass of lymphocytes and macrophage t lymphocyte and b lymphocyte b lymphocyte is the precursor of cd4 and cd8 lymphocyte which that is uh, next uh, in this video um, in this video lastly we will discuss so here is the uh, lymph vessel is contain a uh, efferent and afferent afferent mean the many more afferent a uh, lymph vessel but efferent is one which that is allowed to uh, outflow from the lymph node outflow of the lymph from the lymph node so here is the diagram of the human which contain a uh, uh, right atrium to left vent uh, right atrium and right ventricle and left atrium and left ventricle and that is a superior and inferior vena cava and aorta and descending aorta on the other hand here is the green color shows that the thoracic duct and here is the appendix and large intestine small intestine and here is the bone marrow and that is bone marrow is basically red color shows that which that is produce the lymphocyte which mature into the lymph node on the other hand here is the uh, thymus gland which that is upper part of the heart and lymph node is present and here is a lymphatic vessel but on the other hand the tonsil are present and subclavian vein is looking like this which that is enter the uh, enter the thoracic duct into the subclavian le left and right vein so here i am drawing the uh, lymph capillary so the lymph capillary is the basically uh, major function is that here is a lymph capillary so this lymph capillary allow to move the lymph and surrounded by the tissue and this tissue is also surrounded by the blood vessel so what is the meaning of this 
that uh, that's mean basically lymphatic capillary is surrounded by the tissue to absorb extracellular fluid on the other hand the blood which does give the extracellular fluid which that is abnormal extra extracellular fluid into the tissue which allow to give the extracellular fluid so here the interstitial fluid are present or extracellular fluid present and tissue cells on the other hand that's blood capillary is present and lymph are present inside of the lymph vessel and that is valve which that prevent to backflow and capillary is here so what is the meaning of this i am explaining that the lymphatic system is allowed to uh, move every time from absorption from extracellular tissue from the extracellular fluid from the tissue to move into the subclavian vein and circulatory system will circulate again and it means the excess of again extracellular fluid due to the blood circulation is again drained into the uh, into the uh, lymphatic system so the lymphatic system is just one direction but the circulatory system of the blood is uh, multi, uh, two direction first is toward the heart and second is out as toward the heart so here is the lymphatic system which contain here is the heart and subclavian vein is attached from it and this is the subclavian vein back into the right atrium to right ventricle and right atrium to right ventricle and go into the pulmonary circulation and after the pulmonary circulation left atrium to left ventricle which that is the movement of blood and go into the aorta and that aorta is going in the ultimately go into the blood vessel so lymph node contain here is the lymph node lymph node contain t cell macrophage uh, and b cell whenever whenever uh, infection cause some infection will be caused or uh, some inflammation will be occur so that's the subclavian vein which that's allow and that means the subclavian vein which that is also attached with the uh, basically uh, into the subclavian and that's enter and on the other hand here is the T cell and macrophage and B cell which that means it's give the cytokines uh, which that is the inflammatory signal where the infection cause so infected area produce the chemokine and this chemokine will attract it it is known as the attractant of immune cells so here is the node which that t cells and macrophage and b cell will move toward the basically toward the uh, circulatory system and first enter into the uh, right atrium to right ventricle as a deoxygenated blood mix and that's after all go into the um, artery vein to artery in from the heart so important thing is that important thing is that when enter the into the blood that mix with the t cell and that t cell t lymphocyte contain a receptor so this receptor is also here is the dendritic cell or antigen presenting cell are present in to the blood is already and here is can be cd4 or cd8 division will be occur of the t cell so the t cell convert into the cd4 and cd8 so next here um, mhc class 2 uh, are present mhc class 2 receptor are present which that present the antigen so for example engulf the antigen by dendritic cell or antigen presenting cell to give the bind binding with the t cell binding with the t cell receptor to bind and recognize the antigen and after all this conversion of the many cell for example th th17 cell helper uh, help uh, recruit neutrophils and this new recruit neutrophil and macrophage by the cd4 lymphocyte on the other hand 
here is the th1 cell help to activate macrophage and cytotoxic cell so the function of cytotoxic cell is here we will discuss so just first of all we should understand the th2 cells is also produced that help activate b cell so here is the th17 cell help to recruit uh, neutrophil to produce chemokine and interleukin 1 and interferon gamma also produce this produce to recruit the macrophage as well as neutrophil so the macro mean bigger phage mean the eater as well as neutrophil mean the it's also known as the polymorphonuclear cell because three nucleus on the other hand it's engulfed the uh, antibody containing antigen to neutralize it and next is the th1 cell which that is activate that cytotoxic cell and uh, cytotoxic cell cytotoxic t cell and cytotoxic t cell is infected area of the tissue to uh, really uh, to engulf the uh, endocytose the cell where the tissue uh, damaged tissue for example cancer cell of the tissue but on the other hand th2 cell conversion from the t cell which that is produce the b cell which that recruit the b cell it means the recruitment of the b cell or conversion of the b cell and B cell convert into the B memory cell and plasma cell. It means the B memory cell is memorized the antigen and again infection to quick response while the plasma cell which produce the different type of antibody uh, on the basis of infection time. So the plasma cell produce the different type of antibody but B memory cell is a specified and specialized to produce antibody is depend on the antigen so thanks for watching please subscribe the channel and okay bye